Hello. In this video we will test three different card readers for RFID cards. Uh, two of them are uh, RS232 interface, serial port, in other words, you can see connected to DB9 cable, powered through USB 5 volt DC. And uh, third is well known ACR122 USB card reader. We will test with Mifair one key card. Okay. We will use a simple application. Mifair card editor. So let's start with first ACS ACR. 122. As you can see, this application supports many different readers, mostly serial protocols. This one is USB. Okay, let's open it. We can see we have read version information. Now we can insert card. Okay, we can hear a beep. We can see reader has read uh, card type information and unique ID. Four bytes for this type of card. Okay, this type of card has memory one kilobyte or one thousand twenty-four bytes. We can select region from block 16 bytes to sector for blocks 64 bytes or whole card. Okay, let's try to read the card. Uh, before reading, we can provide keys. There are two type of keys. Key a and key B. It can be used for reading and writing. Uh, by default, uh, cars from factory has uh, all F's as a key. Key is uh, six bytes long. Okay, so we provide default key and try to read. So you can see it is pretty fast reading. We can see a periodic structure. Every last block of a sector is a special block. It has uh, access rights and uh, keys for accessing this sector. So keys can be different for different sectors. The very first block contains identification information. Namely, you eat UID, unique ID. You can see it starts with this information. This is bytes. Okay, we don't want to touch right now the last block with access rights, so we can select a sector. but only with three blocks of data, without the last block. Ok, let's use uh, sector 5. You can read. It is empty, as you can see. We can try to modify data. Let's try to write. 
Okay, it says write successful. We can verify. Verify successful. So we can read entire card. And check if it is there. Here it comes. Okay, so this reader is used with PC under Windows, Linux, or other desktop systems. Now we will try Syncotec S Key 200 card reader. It is combo style card reader. It can read uh, contact cards like SLE and RFID cards, contactless. For RFID, it has antenna PCB. Which can be detached, can be placed it under the main board. It has a REST 232 interface. Okay, let's start. We select Syncotech. We select serial port. It must be con one. Open OK, we see it has read version information. Let's insert the card. Okay, you can see card is inserted, but no ID is read because we have mispositioned antenna PCB. Right in. This time it correctly read card information, card type and unique ID. So we can start reading. Let's start from reading all the card. You can see it is the same data because it is the same card. So we should see our write test. Here it comes. So let's select another sector, for example, six, and try to write test data. I okay, will use the default key all F's. Trying to write successful written. Verify OK. Read OK. OK, let's try read entire card. You can see it is pretty fast because uh, it is. 120,000 kilobit, uh, bit, 115 kilobits to be correct. We can see our boss two tests, sector 5, sector 6. So it works. Okay, the last one is TTCE R500. It is a combo style reader also. It has nice enclosure plastic. So all is inside. Let's try it. It has serial connection, COM2. We can see version string. Let's insert the card. You can see the card almost fully inside the reader. We can see UID. Let's read the card. 
as you can see speed is less than in previous case but because it is used slow baud rate baud rate but i suppose it can be raised to the same speed as the previous reader okay we can see our data written in the previous tests so let's provide another one data block this one time is sector number seven so Verify. Read back. Now read the whole card. All three tests are here. So you can see it is operates the same way. A bit slower, but it has a provision to increase the interface speed. So it's not a problem. Thank you.